Building a Village The first pilgrims built a village in Plymouth. The village had houses with gardens around them. There was a meeting house and a general store. There were stores like the blacksmith's shop and the carpenter's shop. There was a village green in the center of town. The village green was like a park. As more pilgrims moved to Plymouth, the village grew bigger. A man called the town crier announced the news in the village. He walked along the paths, ringing a bell or banging on a drum. This meant that everybody was to meet in the village green. He would then tell everybody the news. People in the village liked to write letters to tell about the news of the village. Letters were sent back to family and friends in England by sailing ships. The village had rules. Everybody had to pay taxes. Everybody had to go to church on Sundays. The governor of the village held court four times a year. If people broke the laws, the governor would punish them. If a pilgrim did something bad, like hurting another person, he had to leave Plymouth and never return. If a person did something wrong, like stealing, that person might have been whipped in public. He would also have to apologize to all the villagers. Plymouth had its own militia. A militia was an army. All men between the ages of 16 and 60 had to join. Once a month, the men would practice marching and shooting. The men carried heavy muskets and swords. The men kept the village safe. Another job for the militia was to march the villagers to the meeting house every Sunday for church services. Everybody went to the meeting house on Sundays for two church services. The preacher read from the Bible and gave a sermon. The sermon was a long speech about following the teachings in the Bible. There was a dinner between the two services. Sundays were not for work. Sundays were only for prayer and giving thanks. The pilgrims were thankful for the, their village and for a new beginning in a new world.